It's getting late. You're running around doing some errands after work. And as you're walking out of the grocery store, you're heading to your car. You start putting groceries in the trunk. And you hear something in the grocery cart. You're in a grocery uh, store parking lot. It's not that abnormal, except this grocery cart seems to be coming really fast towards you. And as you look up, you see the grocery cart screaming across the parking lot in a, uh, on a crash course for the front of your car. So as quick as you can, you try to get out in front of the cart, and it's too late. Smack. The front of your car is now dented, and there's gout of pain out. So as you're standing there trying to quench your anger, you wonder to yourself, how could this have happened? Why did this cart end up left out and have to hit my car? Well, it's pretty obvious that somebody didn't put the cart back like they should have. But how many people saw that cart sitting out in the parking lot and didn't do anything about it? Now, as leaders here in Rising Stars, I would suspect that if, you, if it was you that walked by the cart, that you would put it back. But I ask you, would you have? It is one of my pet peeves of doing the right thing. Now, my advice is short and simple in terms of leadership. A lot of people take special classes, special experiences to get leadership, but my advice is very simple. Lead by example and do the right thing. There's a favorite commercial of mine that was out maybe five, six years ago, and it showed a busy sidewalk in a busy city. And as people were walking by, it showed this piece of trash on, on the sidewalk. And people would walk up to it and they started noticing it and they kind of walked around it. And before too long, there was a crowd gathered around this, this piece of garbage on the sidewalk. And people were verbalizing their disgust. I can't believe someone would throw that there. Someone ought to pick that up. So on and so forth. And then this went on just for a little bit. And this young man walks up and he notices the crowd and notices the trash and here's what's going on. And he just looks around and he walks up and he picks it up and he walks over five feet and throws it away. And I thought this was a perfect example of someone who can lead by example. There was an opportunity to do something about it. A lot of people wanted to talk about it. They didn't take action. This person went ahead and picked it up and threw it. Very simple concept. I'll give you another example of leading by example or an opportunity to lead by example. On our floor, we run a snack fund, and there's a a group of us, a small group of volunteers that maintain it. And we buy snacks and sell snacks and we use the proceeds at the end of, end of the year to donate. And it's all volunteers. So we clean up the area, stock, and so on. Well, just over a year ago when I first got involved with volunteering for this, there was a few more people involved. And at the same time, there happened to be new management on our floor. And one of the days he walked by and we had a bottle return, which we have to take back. And this bin was starting to get over full. And so, of course, he wanted it cleaned up and he put out a directive that it must be cleaned. Well, the person that had been taking those back for several years in doing this job, which I'm sure all of you don't even enjoy taking your own bottles back, you can imagine taking others. They were offended by it, right, wrong, or different. They were offended. So we lost a volunteer because of that. Now I offer you that had, had this manager really wanted to lead by example, he could have rolled up the sleeves and helped pick it up and or offered to get some other help out there to, uh, to help with the fund. Had that, had that happened, I'd be, I would bet that there would be people motivated to actually come out and support and volunteer because when you see a leader do something that someone could consider being above what they normally would do, then it really helps motivate people. It's like watching a quarterback put a shoulder down for the extra few yards to win the game. They normally wouldn't do that, but they rise to the occasion and do it. It's very simple. So as you progress in your journey as becoming leaders and rising stars, don't ever be too good or too busy to set the example. The people that you intend to lead need to be motivated and respect you. So take, take the extra step, lead by example, and I guarantee you, you have a better chance of becoming a successful leader. Mr. Toastmaster?